Hello, welcome to my channel. Nada here. First off, let me say, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to keep seeing all of these beautiful videos that I keep trying to do for you guys. Today, we're going to be doing a 3D jigsaw tumbler. So full disclosure, this is only my second time doing the jigsaw in clay. My first one I did last year. It didn't sell, unfortunately, and it's still on my Etsy. See it? It's still up for grabs on my Etsy, shopnata.com. Also, this one is also available on my Etsy as well. Everything that I make on these videos are always available for purchase on my Etsy, just to let you know. So for me, working with clay is completely trial and error. I literally have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I just looked at the picture and tried to copy to the best of my ability. So that's my only advice. Also, water. Water, water, water. It fixes all mistakes and it makes it smooth and it's smooth sailing on trying to make this clay jigsaw happen. So here's the picture one more time. And this is literally how I just look at the picture and try my hardest to copy exactly what I see. And like I said, if you make a mistake, clay is very forgiving as long as you use some water and it's before 48 hours when using air dry clay. I get the clay from Amazon, you can get it from Walmart, I use Crayola, I've used, um, and another brand that I totally forgot the name, but I will put it in the description if I find it.
First step is done. To fill in all the cracks and make it smooth, all you have to do is use some clay water. Now it's dry and it's smooth and now we got to sand it just to make the edges look nice and smooth. So it's all Gucci when I epoxy. Just take your sandpaper and wet it a little bit and just sand all around the edges. At least that's what I'm doing just to make it look really good, like this. And now, when it's smooth, it is time for painting. Can you believe I found this white acrylic paint in Dollar Tree of all places? Dollar Tree. Awesome, right? That is definitely some coins saved. That my best friend, she a real bad bitch, got her own money She don't leave no nigg on the dance floor She had two, three drinks, now she twerk You should throw it out and come back That my, that my best friend, she a real bad bitch, got her own money She don't leave no nigg on the dance floor She had two, three drinks, now she twerk You should throw it out and come Oops I use Mod Podge spray just so the paint doesn't run when I epoxy over it because I'm going to use some UV resin to epoxy over it before I get to the next stage of painting the details of the face.
look how pretty. I think I've outdone myself this time. Much better than the first one. But now it's time for stickers. And then I get a boxy. Let's go. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you want to see any more. Also, again, if you want to see how I did the magnetic cardboard base ice lid, please check out my other video. Thanks. Bye-bye for now. Clap.